am standing filming this because my cat is in my chair behind me, so I'm like hunched over. So sorry if I sound like out of breath or anything like that. So okay, anyways, I'm here to talk about the Trolls movie. I recently watched all three Trolls movies with my roommate. Um, it was really nice. It was really fun. Um, I love a good children's movie. I feel like I tried to dress very troll-like today. I've got the, the, the silly hair and the, the clips and the bright makeup. My makeup is actually inspired by Princess Poppy, now known as Queen Poppy, okay? Um, because I've got like hot pink eyeshadow, hot pink lips with accents of green. She also wears a little teal. I've got some teal on my shirt. Teal. There's a little So yeah, we're feeling very troll-like today, very troll-like. Um, so let me talk about the trolls first, right? So I'm very invested in the lore. Um, the first movie was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. So the first movie, let me just break that down for you in case you haven't seen it. It came out in like 2016, I believe, and um, it basically follows Princess Poppy and her friend Branch. Um, I guess they're not really friends yet, um, but these two little trolls from this little troll kingdom, and they are going to Bergen Town to go save their friends, because the movie opens up with them living in Bergen Town in this tree, and every year the Bergens have a, a trollstice kind of feast where they eat all the trolls, like not all of them I guess, but they eat a bunch of trolls because trolls are so fun and happy and they have to eat the trolls to feel happy. So they eat the trolls because these Bergens are miserable. But Poppy's dad, the king, leads them to freedom through these underground tunnels away from Bergen Town and they basically escape and so they've been living in this cute little society in the forest for 20 years untouched by the Bergens. But then one of the Bergens finds them because Poppy throws a really loud party and kidnaps a bunch of the trolls to take back to Bergen Town. And it's like, hey, yeah, we're actually gonna continue Trolls Disc because eating trolls is awesome and amazing and great. Um, so Poppy goes on an adventure to go save the trolls. This guy, Branch, joins her because he's like, he's like very paranoid about the, the Bergens and he's got like a survival bunker and he's, he helps Poppy and I kind of like don't remember, I just really liked the movie, I thought it was very cute, I thought it was humorous, um, but yeah, so the first movie didn't really establish like a lot of troll lore, it was very self-contained and very cute and I think it focused more so on character development than anything else because you kind of see Poppy get exposed to the world a little bit more and like learn that people are different and then you also um, see Branch kind of soften and change his ways because Branch is a very grumpy troll, okay? And he like, he doesn't sing and he's super paranoid and he's worried that the Bergens are gonna get them but the Bergens already have gotten them and Poppy kind of gets him to open up and he like helps rescue all their troll friends by helping a Bergen get this guy she likes um yeah that's the whole like B plot or whatever um but yeah and the trolls obviously all like sing and stuff cause it's a kids movie so they're like singing fun songs and whatnot. um but yeah, so I think the lore was really self-contained in that one. Um, and then, um, everybody's happy and the Bergens are like, wait, I can be happy without trolls. Like, I don't need to eat this living troll to feel happiness. I can make my own happiness. Happiness comes from within. Um, and so the trolls are able to live in the troll tree peacefully and not worry about the Bergens eating them. And they're kind of like friends with now, so everything's chill. Everything's fine and great. Okay, um, the second movie, I was super confused. So this one is Trolls World Door, and I'm pretty sure they do not mention the Bergen. 
was like really annoyed because I was like, okay, so you just bumped the entire first movie establishing the Bergens as like a number one threat. You live in Bergentown, like the troll tree is in Bergentown. The threat of Bergens has persisted for at least the past 20 years, okay? And there is not a single mention of a Bergen. Like what? No way. So that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I was really confused about that. Um, but the second movie starts out with Queen Barb um, getting different strings from different types of trolls. So now we're establishing world lore. Okay, here's what I like about the trolls movies. The lore kind of builds up, right? So we the first movie was very self-contained. We're establishing what the trolls are, who our main characters are, what their motivations are, what they're like, what their backstories are like, kind of, that sort of thing. Um, and then the second movie, we get some world building. So the second movie, we learn that there's different kinds of trolls in each different, like, troll race, essentially. It's like a race thing. It has a different kind of genre of music. So Poppy is queen of the pop trolls. So um, there's like techno trolls and funk trolls and like heavy metal trolls and country trolls probably. I don't know. There's like different trolls for each genre because they all love to sing and dance and stuff. But they sing and dance very specific genres. And Barb is from the heavy metal trolls. So she's trying to convert kind of the whole troll country to heavy metal and obviously Poppy doesn't like this because she's a pop troll but like also she she thinks that like the neutralization of differences is wrong because it is because differences are what make us special and unique essentially um so Poppy goes on a quest to kind of like save music and um, prevent the heavy metal trolls from world domination, which is really funny. And um, I thought this one was really cute. I It was very interesting. Um, I thought it was very pretty. I thought, I think the set design of the trolls movies is just adorable. Their whole world is made out of felt and little toys. Um, like, when they went to go to the see the like country music trolls, the um they live in like an old west style like location and the fields it, the, they're like crop fields. Their crop fields is like a quilted blanket which is so adorable and then they go into the Grand Canyon and they dive into the water and the water is made of orbies, which is really cute. Um but yeah, it's like a lot of like it's as if like a child is playing like pretend with these toy trolls and just using stuff they find around the house as set dressing and like as their location. It's really cute. Um, but yeah, I really, my favorite troll is the smooth jazz troll. I freaking love smooth jazz, even though he was there for literally like five seconds. Um, but yeah, I thought the movie was really cute and I thought it was fun seeing all the different of trolls and you know i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys so no spoilers <laughs> um the first movie is on netflix we had to rent the second movie on youtube or prime for like five bucks and then the third movie is for rent for like 20 dollars which i think is ridiculous so we did not do that um um, but yeah, the second movie, Trolls World Tour, very fun, very fresh, very cute. But yeah, the, um, the smooth jazz troll that they sent was actually, so Queen Barb, she's trying to assassinate, no, she's not trying to assassinate Poppy, wow, that would be a little dark for a kid's movie. Um, no, they're trying to basically kidnap Poppy so that she can't, like, stop the plan to, like, dominate the nation or whatever. They also sent K-pop trolls, which is really nice. I, I thought that was cute. The K-pop trolls were voiced by the K-pop girl group Red 
Velvet. Um, I used to be really big into K-pop, and I really like Red Velvet, so that was cute seeing them in the movie. I was like, oh my gosh, that's Yeri. Oh my god, it's Wendy. Oh my god, that's Irene. It was really cute. Um, but yeah, I thought all the trolls, the little different genres were really cute. I still think that the movie was rather disjointed in, like, the overarching plot, because, like, still, like, what do you mean? like even once like that's ridiculous where did they go like are you not still living in the troll tree that's literally in bergen town like i was a little confused i was a little annoyed i wish my cat would let me sit down um anyways no yeah so um and then like the whole movie do poppy and branch are kind of fighting because branch really likes poppy and he wants to let her know this but
assist Poppy in saving the music of the entire troll nation. I'm not entirely sure. Like, obviously, I'm not in the DreamWorks studios with them when they write these movies, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, the literal plot of the third movie. So, his brother gets kidnapped by these two, like, fake, like, okay, the third movie kind of starts establishing a larger worldview of different toys, like, one of Branch's brothers literally, like, married a puppet, uh, it looks like a puppet, like a sock puppet of sorts, it's so weird, and he has a bunch of weird sock puppet children, it's kind of scary, because they're, like, massive, and he's just this little troll, it's kind of scary, um, anyways, so there's these, like, Betty Spaghetti-looking dolls that stole one of the boy group members and, um, are stealing his talent and essence so that they can profit off of it. They're exploiting this poor little troll. Much like how the Bergens were exploiting the trolls for happiness, these little Betty Spaghetti dolls are exploiting the trolls for talent, okay? And that, like, sequentially, like, story-wise, narrative-wise, really follows the, like, whole Bergen plot because in the second movie, the trolls don't really experience, like, or like they don't have an essence, a positive essence of their trollness being spun in a negative way. I guess their music was, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, so they're stealing his talent and he's like literally going to die because he's like getting like, becoming emaciated from all the talent they're stealing from this poor little troll. So that's why Branch and his brothers are going to rescue them and it really, this movie really speaks to Branch's desire to like, in the first movie, he just wanted to shut everybody out, and he had this bunker, and then the, the third movie, you see, he built that bunker because he told his brothers that that could be, like, their cool clubhouse, like, it all connects, like, it all makes sense, um, and now he, he misses his brothers, they abandon him, but he's ready to welcome them back into his life, and he wants them in his life, but they're just ready to leave again. You know, it's just like, kind of like, I see the character growth, I see how it makes sense and follows up all of the information that was set up in the first movie. Again, the second movie just feels like a random one-off, okay? Um, but yeah, they like, rescue the brother, obviously, because it's a children's movie, so good things are gonna happen, and the bad guy will lose, and whatnot, and it's all smiles and rainbows, because it's a movie, um, but yeah, I don't think this movie was as pretty as the other ones, the color palette was kind of like, meh, um, and it kind of felt gimmicky, it kind of felt like just boosting Justin Timberlake's ego, because it's his band, and they were, like, making a lot of references to, like, other boy groups, like, I think they did, like, kind of, like, a riff on, like, Backstreet's Back, like that song, like everybody, Backstreet's Back, alright, but like Trolls version, or like, cause I think they're called Brozone, like Brozone's Back, which is so funny because Backstreet was NSYNC's like competitor, like they were rivals, so it's like, not you shouting out your rivals, oh my gosh, it was just kind of like nostalgia bait, as a lot of ten movies tend to be, which is weird because I haven't seen a ton of nostalgia. 2023. That was more so like a 2020, 2022 thing, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, and also I remember when the movie got released, it was kind of like poor timing for Justin Timberlake, which screw Justin Timberlake. By the way, we don't like Justin Timberlake because around the time of the movie's release, and mind you, I mentioned that this movie was kind of like, just like, hey, look at how cool Justin Timberlake's old band was. He was an 
so much.